This day 157 as well, people shots. I have to tell you, I was in a shul uh, the other day and I saw a parsha sheet from a Machon in Yushalayim called uh, Machon Yeshivas Abir Yaakov or Meir Besimcha, Maria. And uh, they had a parish there on the Zohar, a Kesev Akov, and it got me very excited because it seemed like a parish of Peep Shot. And this is in the parish sheet for a specific a small amount of Zohar. So I went and ordered two volumes of the Zohar with the Kesev Akov, and I got them, and I'm disappointed because actually it's no different than the Sulam. It's all very much not a Peep Shot. It's very much a Kesev Arizal, which in our perusal does us really very much good. Because we're trying not to have to resort to Kisra Riza in order to explain the Zohar, Kaddish. But so, I got these two volumes. But I'm not doing much good. Okay, so we go back to our own perspective. And we're in Yud Ches on the base, which is, uh, and we are on the uh, ninth line, Yikavu. So Yikavu, we said already, is two cops, right? The, the, the Yikavu Amayim, Yud Kuf. Vavav. Medidu, the Kavu Mishchasa. It's a measure of a, a line, and Mishchasa means a specific length. So, a measure of a line of a specific length. Um, in other words, a line doesn't necessarily have a measure. The Mishchasa is a measuring line. She's Tiven, other she's Tiven. So, that's going to be explained. On high, the Yichudi law is Shemai Son Shemak and Shemakhat has six letters. And below, there's also she's Tevin, there's six letter, six words. Also below, there's six words. Book Shank Fod, Machusa Lambo, is six words. Mishra saw the measure itself is Butsina Kardanisa. It's a lamp of darkness. Meaning, it's got to per- curtail the light. In order to get the rainbow, we have to curtail the light. So it's a, the light has to be one which is radiant, but radiant in the darkness so that perception can differentiate. The Chesed says, "Mi Mador B'Shal Lo Mayim, who measured with his Sha'al and Sha'al is a, some well, it just says there in Mishaya the Mem that it's a certain type of measure. So Mayim, in other words, the water, the Shafa coming down comes down in a uh, uh, in a careful measure. I think that's the Kavu, the double Vav. In other words, comes down, gets measured, and then goes down further. Vav, stop, Vav. So the uh, idea is that." Um, Everything goes out of certain measure in order to bring out the various different um, U's, H U E S, or the various different uh, colors of the spectrum. Um, um, and this is the shear of you create the worlds and differentiate it between the various different aspects of the worlds. Yud He Vav He, that's the. Uh, Shame Hashem, obviously. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Da iu yikavu hamayim. That's the gathering of the the water. In other words, uh Hashem yikavu hamayim. The 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 UK vavke is the uh, the the chuli law, and then Kadosh, 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 Kadosh means to devote oneself to a specific purpose. It's based on Shem Saktam the Shari Yesha. I'm going to elaborate on right now, but in any event, uh, the, uh, this comes down and is devoted to the world as a form of connection to Baruch Do you kavu amayim? That's the, 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 the gathering of the water. And Hashem Tzvachos. And we know that Tzvachos represents an army. It represents the Broad array of forces which are aligned with the Kodesh Baruch Hu. So even though the word Tzvakos does not appear here in the puzzle, but the idea is this is a tantamount to so Tzvakos. So it says Kadosh devoted to this, Kadosh devoted to that, Kadosh devoted to that, and there are three, obviously. That's why it's a with parents, whatever. But the point is that there's this idea of the rainbow, the idea that there are different strokes for different folks, and that the Kodesh Baruch Hu Mechuban connected each one. Uh, uh, and the water goes to one place with the secret of this name. And um, the name here could be the name Kadosh, because Baruch was devoted to us, but it could also be the name Yud, Yud K, Vav K, which is spelled out here. Uh, 
but uh, I think this, the, also this idea is uh, the UK above K is spelled here with the Mili Alfin, which means it's the matcha of Mem Hay, uh, Ma. And the Shem Mem Hay corresponds to the Oilam Hayatira. And Oilam Hayatira is where actually concepts and I did begin to take form. In other words, Oilam Hatzilus and Oilam Habriya, they're things are conceptual. Bria is bichla, bichla conceptual over our heads, obviously. Bria is where the Shorosh and the Shamas come from, and evidently the Shorosh and everything spiritual. And then it takes concrete, this differentiated form in Olam Hayatira. So it comes down to its final form, Olam Asiya. So therefore, uh, it could be that this is referring to Dohi Kabo Maim Shen Svakos is this um, uh, 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 sorry, I mean the UK Bavke, this is the way he created the worlds below, is with these, starting with the shame of Memhe. In any event, um, uh, uh, my card's Kvado, and the whole world is full of glory. And that's the secret of Sirah Yabasha. The Yabasha is the Kobe Hashem, where eventually mankind will take root. Uh, Raza Glifa Shma di Chudu. And this is also the secret of the um, engraving of the name of Unity. I'm not sure w- whether it's supposed to pronounce his name or not. I think it's okay. Kuzu Bemuchsas Kuzu, which is, of course, uh, 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 the letters right after the Shem Hashem, Yud. K Vav K, Kav Vav Zayin Vav, are the letters immediately after the Shem Hashem, and the uh, 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 is Elo uh, El the Aleph Lamed He Yud. Nun, Vav, Elokeinu, Hashem, Hashem, Elokeinu, Hashem. So the, um, the, the, the name which you put in the outside of the mezuzah. And this name, the outside of the mezuzah, obviously connotes something which is the concealed manifestation of the Hashem, Elokeinu, Hashem, uh, internal. So it is the Butina Kord Nisa. In other words, Hashem, Elokeinu, Hashem manifests itself in a way which is concealed. In, in in the darkness of the symptom, so therefore it's it takes on the form the next letters afterwards. So the idea is that the Yehuda Tatoa takes place in place of concealment in the Abasha, and therefore it can't be uh, it can't can't take the form of outright Shem Kain Hashem, and just like. Shem Hashem Echad comes manifest about Shem from Mukhsal and Boy. Shem Hashem comes manifest in Kuzu Mukhsal's Kuzu. So the uh, idea is that everything in this world, in order that there be differentiation, there has to be darkness. And darkness is essential for differentiation. If there would be light, there would be no differentiation. So everything in this world is the Sesa. All the Kedusha has to be found hiding behind something else. Okay, we'll stop here for today.